In this Python tutorial, we will make a project using browse and save as buttons. We can open a text file by clicking the browse button. The data in the text file is printed to the multi-line object. After editing the file, we can change the text file by clicking the save as button. We will rebuild the project together. In the video I will show you how to do it step by step. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. So let's start. First, I will transfer the PY Simple GUI library. You can transfer the library using this code. I import the library. I am creating an object list. I add the file browse object. I create a variable for the window. I send the title, layout and size values to the window function. I create an infinite while loop with true. I will create two variables named event and values. I synchronize the variables with the read function. Using these variables, I determine the operations to be performed in the application. For example, when the X button is pressed, the win closed function is called. If the event is win closed, I will end the while loop with the break command. Finally, I close the window. I created a window with a browse object. I can click the button and select a file. I can display the file path I choose in an input object. I will create an input object. I send visible, events and expand values to the input function. I add the variable to the layout list. I added the input object to the desktop window. I select a file with browse. The path of the file I selected is shown in the input object. I add a file save as object to the layout list. I can update a changed file using this button. I need an input object for the button to become active. I create another input object by copying and pasting. I add the variable to the layout list. I added the input object to the desktop window. I set the visible option to false. The input object is not currently visible. Now I will create a multi line object. I send string, events, expand and justification values to the multi-line function. I add the multi-line object to the list. I added the multi-line object to the desktop window. I can write data to the object. I need to access input and multi-line objects. I define keys to objects. I will access objects using these keys. Be sure to define a separate key for each object. If the event value is T1, I can access the selected file using the get function.
I equalize the data in the file to a variable using the read function. I am updating the object with the input key. I send the variable I defined with read to the update function. I am creating a text file. I am saving data to file. Now let's try the application. I select a file by clicking the browse button. The file's data is saved to the multi-line object. I can make changes to the multi-line object. But the save as button is not functional yet. If the event value is T2, I use the get function to access the file for writing. I write data to the file using the get function. Finally, I close the file. Now let's test the application. I select a file with browse. The data of the selected file is printed to the multi-line object. I can make changes to the multi-line object. I save the changes I made with the save as button. I updated the file. In the next video, I will make an example of the color chooser button. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. Thanks for watching.